Welcome to WE Kiwi, where friends come in all sizes, shapes and species. And now a story of perspective. WE Kiwi and the Young Building Bear. Wee Kiwi was walking through the bush on a Sunday morning. It was a lovely day in the world, with the sun radiating through the trees. Over his shoulders, Wee carried his trusty backpack. In it was his lunch, water, a notepad with a pen, and a raincoat, just in case the weather turned. He strode forward, loving being in the fresh air and getting some well needed exercise. As he came up to a bend in the track, he could see something moving up the hill. There were a pile of branches and ferns around it. Squinting, W.E. could see golden strands of rope hanging from the branches. A creature stood up. W.E. saw it was a young black bear. Maybe he was lost, so W.E. called out. Hello there, are you okay? Do you need some help? The bear cub replied. But W.E. couldn't make out what he was saying. Moving up the hill, W.E. waved to make sure the bear knew he was coming to help. I couldn't hear you, so maybe I come up and say hi, W.E. called out. W.E. tried again. I couldn't hear you, so maybe I come up and say hi. The bear cub smiled, but didn't look entirely happy about something. I'm Warwick Kiwi, but my friends just call me W.E. What's your name, young bear? The bear sighed. I'm Anthony, but my friends call me Hammer, as I'm always trying to build things. Well, it's Hammer and W.E. in the bush then, but I shall call you Anthony. If we become friends, then I'll progress to Hammer. Have you been building today? W.E. asked, looking at all the branches tied with ropes. Yes, I have. I wanted to make a secret hut for me and my friends to meet in. I think heaps falling down, W.E. I might just give up, as it isn't working. W.E. took a branch with a piece of rope tied to it. Inspecting it, he saw how strong and tight the knot was. Well, you sure know how to tie a good knot, so don't give up. Sometimes if you master one skill, then you can move on to another. I guess so. Anthony smiled. Here's what we can do. I have a notepad, so how about we sketch out the idea and we can look to see where you might have gone wrong last time. As long as we admit our mistakes, we can learn from them. But why are you helping me, W.E.? Do you want to make huts too? Anthony asked. I guess. I used to make huts as a young chick, and my passion hasn't left me. And... Nothing wrong with helping out a young building bear, is there? W.E. took off his backpack and found his notepad with the pen. Together they sketched an idea for a new secret hut. W.E. corrected a few of Anthony's designs, which made the roof stronger and the walls hidden. Got off to work tying, bending and folding branches and ferns into place. It was hot work, so a few water breaks had to be taken. After nearly an hour, The hut was finished. Anthony sat inside as W.E. put the last branch to hide the entrance. Are you happy in there, Anthony? Sorry, Hammer, W.E. called out. Very much so, W.E. There's enough room in here for all my friends. Then I shall leave you in there to enjoy it. Wait, wait. Anthony came hustling out of the hut. Thank you, W.E., for helping me. I really appreciate it. That's okay. Sometimes we need to go back to the start and see what we're good at, then build on from there. We aren't perfect at everything we start, but don't give up. It might just take a bit of time. Maybe that's just a lesson from a chubby little bird. With that, W.E. patted Anthony on the back and went down the hill. When he got to the bottom, he turned around. He saw Anthony still putting a few leaves around the base of his hut to hide it even more. Just as W.E. was about to walk on, a large black bear came down the path. With a lunchbox in one paw and a water bottle in the other, 
He chuckled at W.E. Slightly confused, W.E. waved. Morning! Lovely day, isn't it? The bear came over and whispered to W.E. You don't know a secret hideout that a young bear might have built, do you? W.E. didn't want to give away its position, so winked. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, it's top secret. It couldn't be just up on the hill, could it? The black bear replied. W.E. turned and looked up the hill. The secret hut stood out as Anthony put more branches on it, making quite a mound between the tree trunks. Well, you never know, friend, W.E. laughed. The bear stepped forward and announced, I don't know where my son's secret hideout might be, but I will leave his lunch here, just in case he is close by. He placed the lunchbox and water bottle down. The bear and W.E. walked through the bush together. They discussed about construction, and how it's best to always start with good foundations. W.E. waved goodbye as the father bear went back into the bush to check on Anthony. W.E. got into his car to go home. He had an idea, so took out his notepad and pen from his backpack. He started writing his thought for today. A few times he struggled, then he came up with a little poem. It's sometimes not how you finish, but how you start. Even if you're doing something straight from the heart, always try to lay a good foundation. This might even make your country a better nation by spreading knowledge and support to the little people through love and kind thoughts. The End Thanks for listening. Just look out for more books with W.E. Kiwi. And don't forget to like and subscribe.